be here. How are we all? Hope we're all doing super well. I'm feeling more energized now. It's been right about five minutes. Five or ten minutes since I just recorded that hard pack video, which I don't even know if I'm going to put out yet, because yeah, that didn't really come out how I wanted it to. But we'll, we'll see. I'll edit it, and if it's not good enough, I will do it again. But anyways, I've just got my Kuva Hind. Um, working on my Kuva weapons in the background. I've actually really been enjoying playing Warframe just casually. And I'm really considering streaming it soon. So we'll see. Uh, I've been doing some leveling today. I've done some Eidolons. I've done some Liches. I finished my Lich today and got this weapon. Leveling up this weapon. Um, so if you guys would be interested in some streams. Warframe streams. I'm definitely down to do that. If you guys want to watch it. That's that. See I stream zombies quite a lot. I have a, a chunk of subscribers are from, from zombie streams. Um. And it's fun to interact with you guys, it's fun to talk and, you know, just talk shit for a few hours. And have some fun, but, regardless, today we're going to take a look at the Kuva Hind. Um, it's what, is this the Kuva weapon from the newest batch? I believe it is, I believe it's the newer side of the Kuva weapons. Um, I never liked the normal Hind, I've wanted to. It's relatively easy to get, it's quick and easy, doesn't cost much. But I just leveled it up and ditched it. Because I didn't like it. And I'm not sure whether they've changed it recently or whatnot, but I don't ever remember it having three fire modes. But it's very similar to the Tiburon. It's got burst fire, which is five round burst. It's got semi, which shoots three bullets, but it's single shot. So it's a single shot that takes three shots at once. And then full auto. Um, they're all really good. Um, so, much like the Tiburon, I like this weapon because if I'm feeling like using an assault rifle, I'll chuck it on auto. If I'm feeling like using a bit of semi, I'll chuck it on semi. So, I like it for that aspect. I do really enjoy it. And as you can see, I am using Prime Shred on this. It's really fucking good. As you can see. So, I recently got Prime Shred maxed out. It's been sat there for ages. And I'm now slipping it into fire rate weapons. Um, weapons that, yeah. Uh, weapons that use fire rate mods. I'm now using Prime Shred for. And realizing how useful that puncher is. Obviously, not every enemy is going to be standing in line like this. Right, it's not going to happen all the time. But when it happens, it really does happen. So, I'm gonna sneeze. So, uh, yeah, and I do a lot of. Oh, geez, that one. Oh, my chest. Oh. Um, I do a lot of void survivals. Um, so, if I'm sitting in the void corridors and things like that, you know, if I'm just aiming at a doorway, nine times out of ten, you are, with punch through, you can hit more than one. For sure. So. Whilst it doesn't seem like it would do very much, and like I said, you're not going to get enemies lined up like this. No, but... When it happens... Obviously, I don't even have to proc viral on him. The second viral procs, it's just game over. <coughs> so yes, it's very, very strong. All fire modes are very, very powerful. I'd say semi is probably... Uh, I don't know if there's a better fire mode, you know. Semi is super powerful. Full auto is super powerful, like a full auto weapon should be. And burst, again, is super powerful. I'd say burst is probably the best. When you hit them. So burst fire is probably the, the, the fire mode that produces the best numbers. Um... But yeah, you know, it, it's just very much very much like the Tiburon. Whatever mood you feel like you're in is the one you can use. Let's manage it good. And yeah, you know, it speaks for itself. I don't really need to big this up any more than it is. I'm super, super impressed with this weapon. 
Ash Mage or Sora. That's one of the reasons, you know, I, I've, I've taken a massive, massive love into making Warframe videos. And I don't know whether it's because... Like, I've played Warframe a lot, but I've played it for four or five years on and off. You know, I've taken breaks. I've not played this game for a year. You know, I don't like playing games that I'm not interested in. Well, not interested. If I get burnt out, I'm not going to force myself to play it. I've always been like that. You know, I get, if I get burnt out on Warframe, then I'm not playing it. It's as simple as. It's the same with everything else. If I get burnt out playing COD Zombies, then I'm not playing it. And, you know, that goes with anything. If you force yourself to do something, uh, you're not going to enjoy it. So, but ever ever since I've started making these videos for you guys, it's been, uh, it's been so good learning about it's just it's more for like the weapons who would have thought that you know Harpax and Heinz would be super good and when I see comments like oh you know I didn't know about this or uh you know I'm gonna go try this out now thanks and all that thanks for the video that it's like that that's so nice it's so cool it's such a nice feeling if you guys don't make videos you probably won't know what I'm talking about but it's crazy from someone that's been doing this for a few years now to finally get something that I want, you know. It's, it's incredible, it's so good. And I'm uh, super happy with how it goes. The only thing I do wish was that the Discord server was a bit more active, but I imagine with time, it will happen. But yeah. Yeah. You guys watching, you watching this, you're the best. So it works super good with Wisp, which is super good. Because Wisp doesn't really like viral weapons, but she works super good with this. I know someone that's going to be super good with this. What's going to happen? Are they going to evaporate? Yeah, probably. The things prop. <laughs> yeah. Where's Semi again? I bet that's like. I bet that doesn't take that long to kill him either. See if we can get one shot. We prop slash, we probably can. Oh! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it, it's so good. It is super good. If you don't have it yet, I would 100% recommend going out and getting it. It's very, very, very strong. Getting headset here. So. This is the build that I'm recommending. Chill. What is this? Uh -huh. So, five former unnecessary. Uh, I only put five former in this for um, the max mastery points. Uh, with all the Kuva weapons, if I was to go out and get a second Kuva hind for whatever reason, I definitely wouldn't be formering it five times. You don't need to put five in. If you don't want to, if you don't need the mastery points, or you're not that bothered. Um, three? I want to say two, three, former. You don't need to put five in it for definite. Three or four, probably solid. Um, yeah, so this is what I recommended, and I'll tell you what you can replace. So we've got serration for damage, split chamber for multi shot, point strike, vital sense, crit chance, crit damage, hunting munitions for slash on crit. Prime Bane of Corrupted, damage to Corrupted. Obviously, that would be swapped out for Bane of Infested if you were killing Infested. Rhyme Rounds for Cold. My weapon's got built-in Toxin, like I recommend for everybody. If you are... If you want the best element, in my opinion, Toxin is the best element to get on your weapons. Um, like the Kuva Hind. Uh, not the Kuva Hind, like the Kuva Karak. Mine is Toxin. Um, I can put Corrosive on this on the weapon. 
I could put viral on the weapon. I would just 100% recommend putting toxin on for so you don't have to worry about putting on two elementals. And then my option or my other option slot is prime shred. 55% fire rate, 2.2 meter punch through. So this weapon doesn't come with any punch through. And like I said, the more I've been doing void survivals, I feel like punch through is very much uh, something that I can make work very well. And fire rate is pretty decent as well. Um, because I like the burst fire mode quite a lot. Having extra fire rate and that punch through is, uh, is super good and it saves your bullets. Dr. Pepper, by the way. Oh, such a good drink. So yeah, Bane of Corrupted and Prime Shred are your options. Like I said, if you were going to run everything else completely like this. Um, heavy Caliber isn't a bad option. Um, for a lot of the missions in your day-to-day -day accuracy or accuracy as a stout PA doesn't really make that much of a difference in missions. I know people like to say it does, but no it doesn't. Um, when you notice accuracy with heavy caliber is more on sniper rifles and you know longer range engagements, but your day-to-day -day missions where you're just running your captures and things like that, accuracy doesn't mean shit. Um, Vision anti armaments is always solid. You could put that in place of Shred or Bane of Corrupted if you wanted to. Hammer shot. Um, if you wanted to, again, that's what you could chuck on. Uh, there's a mod called Bladed Round. That one's always very solid on kill. 120% crit damage. So, I can put something together just to show you guys super quick before we go into the stats. Uh, what are we going to use? Just put this together like this for now. And these Kuva weapons take up a lot of time to talk about. I hope you guys uh, appreciate this. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. And then I'm going to need Rhyme Rounds. Like that. Right. Bladed Rounds. And Hammer Shot. So this is for those of you that don't mind losing a bit of fire rate. So it's like this. Uh, hammer Shot really is overkill, but... It would pump up your crit damage, so that's this is something you could use if you wanted to. I'm going to come off of you. Who do we who do we go? Who doesn't tits up half the time? Hydroid, my boy. Do you go wrong? Uh, you do, but it's not really that noticeable. We'll make do. So we'll use burst first. Let's see now we're gonna proc. I'm using arcane rage. Shit. So that's gonna skew this a little bit then. So what you might notice from this is that it works, but that fire rate very much what lets it down. But the full auto mode, not a problem. Uh, that's rather annoying. I didn't know I had arcane rage on there. So that's a build that you could do. Uh, personally, I would drop hammer shot on that build and chuck on shred or any fire. I'm not fucking hydroid. Fuck off. I would put that there instead and then use bladed rounds personally. And yeah, that is that. That's what I'm going to recommend. This build here anyway. Uh, you can use normal shred if you don't have the primed version. Uh, that's a login. Bane of Corrupted is a Barrow mod. Um, the normal Bane mods are 30%. That get, that's where it gets a bit iffy. Uh, you can try it. I would recommend trying it. Um, but again, if you don't have it, chuck on normal shred for fire rate. And then Vigilante Armaments in place of Bane of Corrupted. That is that. So let's leave that there, otherwise this video is going to be eight years long. I've got to talk about the stats. I didn't do that yet. Good lord. We're going to be here for ages as well because there are so many fire modes. Fuck's sake. So on the burst fire rate mode, we've got 33.3 accuracy, 62.5% crit chance with 4.6 times crit multi. 14.09 fire rate, magazine of 90, multi shot 1.9, noise of alarming. 2.2 meters punch through, 2.3 second reload, 52.8% stats chance, and then burst trigger, obviously. 
19.9 impact puncture, 39.8 slash, 112.7 viral. The semi-auto mode is 28.6 accuracy, 92.5% crit chance with a 6.4 times crit moly, which is relatively high. 3.88 fire rate, 90 magazine, 1.9 multi shot. Noise of alarming, 2.2 meters worth of punch through, 2.3 second reload, 33.6% status chance. 47.7 impact and puncture, 143.1 slash, 338 viral. And then full auto. It's 33.3 accuracy, 52.5% crit chance with a 4.2 times crit multi, 15.5 fire rate, 90 magazine, 1.9 multi shot. Noise of alarming, 2.2 meters worth of punch through, 2.3 second reload, 52.8% stats chance and the full auto trigger. 15.9 impact and puncture, 47.7 slash, 112.7 a viral. <sighs> And yeah, that is that. That is that. I recommend it 100%. A lot of the Cooper weapons are super good in this game anyway. Um, and the Hind definitely doesn't disappoint. At least in performance. The only thing that lets this weapon down is its look. It doesn't look the best. Just from my opinion. Aesthetic opinion. I don't like it. But... Everything else I do like, and like I said, this is one that I'm probably going to use a little bit more because I'm very, very impressed with how it uh, how it goes. Super good. So, yeah. There you guys go. If you did enjoy that, leave a like down below. Dislike if you didn't for whatever reason. That comment section is wide open. Any tips, tricks, questions, suggestions, recommendations, anything like that, let me know down below. Comment section is always open. I always answer the comments. 99% of the comments. Um... Yeah, that's that. Links to all my socials and things like that are in the description. And, uh... What else do I say? Uh, subscribe if you're new around here. Trust the thousand by the end of the year. We are flying so close, boys and girls. I love you guys more than, uh... More than, uh... More than words can say. Because I, I don't know how to word that. But, yeah, it's it's crazy. The amount of uh, support and things that I've been getting recently are, uh... It's mental. It's crazy. I'm going to let you guys go. It's been your boy Acid. And until next time. I'll see you, cunts later.